started the rain, everything's on time, everything looks to be good to go. We've got tons and tons of awesome, fun plans. So this is day one. Hopefully you'll stay tuned and see what we're up to. Yay! Not beautiful, but it's convenient and cheap. We made it to the hotel and we have a view. Pretty, there's actually water over there. It's one of the rivers. Really cute little artsy kind of buildings. And then there's lots of like creative types working over here. See the guy with the drafting paper? I'm sure he's loving me filming him. But like, I don't know, really cool stuff happening over there. Anyway, so we're gonna head out, we're gonna get lunch. We are going to do some shopping. So here is the before <laughs> of my bag. And I'll show you. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. You think it'd make a pretty dress? Absolutely. Yeah. It's Carolina Herrera. Right? And it's $18 with a panel. I will do it, right? Absolutely. I'm not going to get a cut. I will too. <laughs> there you go. Just left Mood. I bought three things. Very excited. I did end up getting the Carolina Herrera panel, which I'm really excited about. And then two other things. So we have about an hour and a half to kill before our soiree this evening. So we're trying to find somewhere to pop into. See you soon. Amber got her first fabric. <laughs> I got more fabrics. Kind of can't see them, but I got some good deals. We are at Chic. New location. Lots of good stuff. Um, I think we're at Silm Thread now. The one next to the new Chic. They kind of all look the same, but I'm pretty sure it's Silm. It's definitely not Pacific. Mm -hmm. Definitely not oh, MJ. Look. Oh, uh. <laughs> okay, we're at Sill. And we found our favorite zippers. These are the YKK Mesh Number no. 2 Invisible Zippers. And they are awesome because the tape is really focused, lightweight, sheer, and just perfect for all of those rayon chalet dresses and lighter weight fabric dresses that so a lot. So I'm stocking up, getting all the basics, getting white, black, navy, and cream. But honestly, they have so many colors. So many colors. So 
I'm pretty sure you can call them at this number and they will order them for you. Can you all see that? Oh, please. Okay, there we go. So you can call them and order your YKK mesh number two invisible zippers. Well, we made it back to the hotel. We survived our first day of shopping. We are headed to the New York Social Hour, the little event that goes down the last Tuesday of every month. Um, so we're gonna meet up with a bunch of local sewists, which will be a lot of fun. But while we are um, chilling out here, before that starts, I thought I would do a quick little fabric haul with all the things that I got today. So today we went to Mood, um, we went to Chic Fabrics, and we went to Sil Thread. But they also had a lot of zippers. Sil Thread zippers. Sil Thread and zippers. Um, anyway, so we'll start with Mood. I have it all laid out so you can see it really easily. Um, the first one is a beautiful cotton sateen, I think. Um, I don't know the exact blend, but it is a Carolina Herrera fabric. It has this really beautiful mint green background with these little splotches of like periwinkle, navy, kind of like a muted lime green and yellow. Um, they're not really flowers, maybe abstract flowers. Um, and it's, you know, pretty lightweight, um, but I think that it's going to be a gorgeous little sundress. Kind of similar to, um, you want to picture what I did for the Royal Wedding Sew Along, something similar to that. Clearly I'm into the blues these days with my blue nails and now my blue fabric. <laughs> um, the next one, you guys saw this. This was the one that I held up. It's the panel. Um, a little hard to show it all folded up like this, but I did want to show you the PK, kind of like a waffle, um, you know, design or knit, but it is a woven fabric. Um, so it is a little bit um, heavier, but not much. Still 100% cotton, very breathable, very conducive for the hot temperatures in South Carolina, but it does have that really pretty um, panel floral thing. So I'm thinking another fit and flare for that. I just gotta try and figure out the orientation of the design that's on it. And then the last one, actually Amber found this one and pretty much insisted that I get it. Um, it's got a pretty like peachy blush, I guess, background. Um, and then these flowers with navy and cream and gray. Um, again, it's a cotton, um, shoot, I can't remember if this one had sateen in it or had stretch in it or not. Yeah, it does a little bit. Um, uh, but it's lighter weight than the Carolina Herrera one. Um, so actually, this was Carolina Herrera too. I just had like a whole day with her. Um, but anyways, the colorway of this is just really gorgeous. They had one that was also like, oh, more natural colors, neutrals, like tan and white and black maybe. I can't remember. Um, but saw this one and we just thought it was so cute and Amber said it looked just like me just like something I would make she could picture me wearing it so I figured it had to be mine all right let me put these away and pull out the chic fabrics hold on all right so here is my chic haul um we're gonna start over here this first one is like a jersey knit it's like an ITY. Amber says it's like an ITY she knows the knits really well she's like an expert on knits, but it is a border print um, with this really pretty like paisley design on the bottom and then kind of blends up into this more of a geometric tile like design. Um, but I thought it would make a really cute maxi dress and at $4.99 a yard, you know, I really couldn't pass it up. So I got enough to make a maxi, um, simple tank top, elastic waist, maxi dress you know nothing too complicated there um but i wasn't really looking for knits so i really had to love it and i just really adored this um border print the next two came from this like remnant bin is the best way to describe it um they were 2.99 a yard each 
This one is a cotton sateen. Isn't that great? It's olive and white. Um, not really animal print, but it's kind of like zebras. I don't know. Um, but they only had a yard and maybe a yard and a third or something, maybe a yard and a half. So I took what they had. Um, probably just make it into a circle skirt or a pleated skirt. I'll try and eke out a bodice if I can, but probably not. Maybe I could like block it and do the skirt out of this and the top out of like a solid white or something. I don't know. Um, so there's that one. And then this one was just really sweet. It feels a lot like a rayon chalet. Um, or something. Uh, yeah. Um, it's lightweight. It's drapey. It may not be 100% rayon, but it is, it is similar to that kind of fabric to me. Um, and it's got this great gingham in the background and then these floral designs kind of all over it. Red and yellow mostly. Um, it might be a little picnic-y, but that's okay. Um, so they had a four yard cut of it and I begged him to cut it in half and he did. So I ended up with two yards of this guy at three dollars a yard and then this next one so amber again found this one and she thought that it was silk with good reason i, I wouldn't be surprised if he were mistaken or something i mean it feels amazing he feels swore really nice. that it was polyester but anytime i've ever had like a, really nice a silk or felt a silk fabric it's had this kind of like crepey back um, I don't know. It feels really, really good for a poly. It's one of the most, the best quality polys I've ever come across if it is polyester. But she liked it for me. She thought the design was really good. I honestly, guys, was kind of on the fence. So I texted a picture to my boyfriend and I said, if he likes it, then I'll get it. And if he doesn't, then I'll leave it. And he loved it. So, um, I ended up getting two and a half yards of this. I'm going to make some kind of dress with it. Um, definitely a fuller skirt and I'm not quite sure what to do with the top. I really want to utilize this drape so it might be like a faux wrap or crossover bodice or I don't know about flounces necessarily because it is a little bit heavier weight than like a rayon or a chalet or anything like that. So we'll have to see what this becomes but I do really love it. The colors are beautiful and I think in the fall it's going to be a staple that I reach for all the time. Um, so other than that, I got oh those zippers at um, at what was that sill? And then I got we hold this. Um, and then I got just some thread, but I'll show you the zippers in case you couldn't see them, and show you which thread I got in case you want to know about that. So the thread is the Guterman. Mara, M-A-R-A, -A, and it is the 120 size, is that, I don't know, there's like Mara 60, Mara 30, and this is the Mara 120. This is the thread that I just ran out of. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I was like running really low. So I figured instead of like rushing home and then having to wait to order thread online, I would go ahead and grab this. The prices there are so good. All of these zippers were a dollar eighty-five for a for a twenty-four inch invisible zipper. I mean, the prices are really so good, but you can really see in this sunlight. Look how sheer and meshy and lightweight and wonderful the um, zipper thread is. And because they're number two size, the teeth are really small. They really are just the best zippers for lightweight fabrics. I'll probably use them on this for sure, totally for something like this. These um, like heavier weight cottons would be okay. This one on the fence, it could go either way. But any of these like lighter weight fabrics, they're really so good for. And I got kind of just a bunch of neutral colors. I literally could have gotten one in every color and probably used it. But I restrained myself and only got a couple in all of the neutral colors. So that is it for today's 
shopping. I am gonna bring the vlog camera to social hour, but I'm not 100% sure how everyone's gonna feel about being on camera. So I gotta feel them out first. If anybody's like weirded out about it, then I won't bring out the vlog camera. So maybe there'll be footage from there, but maybe not. Either way, I will check back in to say good night um, when we get back, um, or I'll see you in a little bit at social hour. Bye. I forgot to show you guys what I was wearing today. This is my travel outfit. You might recognize it from Me Made May. This light is really offensive. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I also have my Seamwork denim jacket that I brought. The weather here is absolutely perfect. We actually got a bit of a chill walking back to the hotel um, just now um, because we are used to 110 degrees, not 70 degrees but anyways the goji shorts were really great super comfortable the um knit top very comfortable and lightweight and perfect for the plane i gotta say these weren't a super great choice but they weren't terrible so i'll show you what we're gonna wear to social hour after we get changed okay i'm ready for social hour i'm wearing a brand spanking new number butterick 6554 i think I did the flutter sleeve. We broke the window shade. Otherwise, there would be like plenty of natural light. But since we broke it and they haven't fixed it yet, this is all you guys are going to get. Um, but yeah, it turned out really cute. And I love it. Hopefully, the wrinkles will come out as we walk over there. But got them on with my corks. Super comfy. And yes, ready to go meet everyone. Amber, G, what are you wearing? Um, this is a Vogue dress from last year. I think it's like 1935 something. Golly, like if you remember that, no, more power to you. Oh, did you? I don't think I remembered it. Super right. cute. So, Joanne's so clearance cool. fabric. I thought it would be a muslin, but I liked it. So. Wearable muslin turned yeah. into actual garment. Oh my gosh. We made it back to the hotel room. We partied at social hour, which was really social four hours mm -hmm. um extra social yeah we got there like a little bit after six and we didn't leave till like a little bit after 10. but i was telling amber at dinner like i really do feel like my heart and soul is so full after meeting everyone that was there apparently they had like an unusually large turnout they were like was their one year anniversary was their one year anniversary yep they had like 20 people there so when we first walked in i was like I kind of thought this was going to be like a more intimate thing and there were so many people but they all were so nice um some of them recognized me some recognized amber some of them had like no idea who we were which is totally fine because they do now if you're watching hello um but yeah they just really welcomed us into their little group and yeah just were really really nice honestly if you live in the area and you're not coming to this event you're really missing out we talked a lot about sewing we talked about movies we talked about boys and taylor swift and i mean it was just like talking 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 i felt like emotionally drained afterwards because i just didn't stop like having conversations and and talking with people so it was a really, really good night, and I'm so glad I went. Um, I didn't film any of it because, A, there were so many people there, and B, like, I didn't really know any of them, so I just didn't want to make anyone nervous. So, no footage, but if you can picture the basement of a restaurant, a big, long table in the middle, and, like, tons of girls, like, groups here, groups there, like, groups around the table, and then, like, as the night went on, it was kind of, like, smaller and smaller and smaller, and I think at the end there were maybe, like, six of us, but just visualize, <laughs> visualize that, and that's what it looked like, so it was just such a pleasure to meet everyone that I met, those people that I had already had conversations with online, but also people um, that I just discovered, so I just feel really full, like I made 20 new friends mm -hmm. tonight um so so it was really great but i'm gonna wrap this up because i've got to undo this face get in my pajamas and edit this video and get it up so that you guys can see but tomorrow we have 
what's in store tomorrow? We're going to Simplicity tomorrow. I don't know how much they're gonna let me film. Um, that's on the agenda, more fabric shopping. Um, and then we're going to the Met Museum. Again, not sure how much I'll be able to film there, but I'll take you along for the ride as much as I possibly can. So stay tuned and hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye. I'm gonna say bye. Oh, bye. good night. <laughs>